What's up everyone, welcome back to the Coral Reef Talk. In today's episode, we're gonna take a look at how I handled cyanobacteria. Welcome back to the channel. Now, if you're brand new to the Coral Reef Talk, please consider hitting that subscribe button and checking the bell icon to be notified every single time I make a new video. Now, if you've been following the 125 gallon reef build series, there is a playlist for you. If you missed any of those episodes, go ahead and check them out. As you know, I have been battling cyanobacteria. Now, there's a lot of reasons that you can have cyanobacteria in your reef tank. You can have a buildup of nitrates and phosphates, which could have been the issue since I used all the same water from the old 210 gallon reef. If you're using T5 bulbs like I, I am, um, you're, you can lose some of the light spectrum as those bulbs age. So if you don't change out your bulbs regularly, then you could have cyanobacteria. It can also be an issue of water movement as well in the aquarium and water flow. Um, changing that up can sometimes get rid of cyano so there's a whole bunch of different factors that play into it and a whole bunch of different things that can cause it in your reef aquarium so initially i tried a uh, simple method by siphoning out the cyanobacteria and cleaning up the sand bed and doing uh, some water changes to kind of fix the nutrient levels get rid of the cyanobacteria but the very next day it came right back Okay, so this is the cyano the very next day after doing a water change. I have some there. Let's see if I can change the blue light so you can see it better. Well, you can kind of see it there. Uh, you can see the little splotches now. It's not a blanket of cyanobacteria, but there's still traces of cyano in there. Uh, this back corner, I got pretty well except for that little spot right there. So it's going to keep coming back until I either siphon all of it out or I'm probably going to end up using a product to get rid of it like the red slime remover, which I've used in the past on the 210 gallon reef and it works just fine. So I had to tackle it using a, an aquarium product that is known and has a proven track record of handling bacteria or cyanobacteria. So that's why I decided to use Ultralife's Red Slime Remover. Now the way it works is you mix in so many spoonfuls according to uh, the gallons of your tank, uh, let it completely dissolve as you mix it up, and then you pour it in your reef tank. Now I did do a few things in between that time, like I took the collection cup for the protein skimmer off and I just let it foam over uh, to keep the water more oxygenated. I also added a bubbler to uh, the top of the reef aquarium and just pumped some air bubbles in there and um, had the pumps um, moved around a little bit so I was getting a little bit more water flow and a little bit more oxygen rich water uh, to kind of help out the red slime remover. Now at first it really didn't look like it was doing much. I came home uh, on the first day and I still had quite a bit of red slime and I was wondering how long this process was going to take and if it was actually going to remove all of that on a single dose or if I would have to repeat the process, um, which you can, uh, but it actually ended up working out really, really well. And so after just three days of using the product, you can see that the cyanobacteria is pretty much gone. Now you can see behind the cell fin tank here that there's still a little bit, like a little small area of cyanobacteria. It's not much. This is uh, nearing the end of day three with the product. So you can see that it completely pretty much disappeared. You can see it completely disappeared from the back side of the tank. There's nothing else there anymore. Nothing on the back wall has started growing up the back wall. That is all gone. So this is actually five days after and you can see that the cyanobacteria that were that was behind uh, the mushrooms here completely gone. 
uh, behind these zoanthids and mushroom completely gone. As we go across the sand bed, you notice that it is completely gone. And as we get to the other side here, there were bits and pieces and small traces of cyano still left here, but you can see that it is now completely eradicated. And then the little patch on the side is also gone. So red slime remover actually does work and it helps you get rid of your cyanobacteria uh, so that you can get a head start on cleaning up your nutrients and doing water changes and maintaining uh, the reef tank better so that it doesn't return. You can also see at the top of this toadstool, uh, there was cyano that covered these tips of the rocks and it's completely gone from there as well. So it 100% works and is very effective and the corals are all out and happy still. I did leave the T5 bulbs off as I was doing the three day treatment and I just left the LED lights running and that was plenty of light for the corals, everyone was happy. And on the fourth day I decided to turn them back on and this is the fifth day. And everything is looking great again. So very excited about that so with the cyanobacteria gone on the fourth day of the treatment i actually did a 10 gallon water change because when i put the collection cup of the skimmer back on it wanted to continue to foam over and skim out um, any excess uh, gunk that was in there so i had to adjust the skimmer for that do a water change and then adjust it back to the settings that it normally is but everyone's happy check out the clowns they're enjoying their anemone self and tang definitely the boss of this tank for sure got ziggy the clownfish doing great everything is doing awesome the riddler bounce mushroom actually split so there's two mushrooms back there now Now, if you want to pick up your own red slime remover to handle your cyanobacteria or other products that are very helpful for your reef aquarium, there's a link below to Marine Depot. They have a whole bunch of products for your reef aquarium journey. So go ahead, click that link, pick up your products today. Thank you for checking out this quick video. I just wanted to share with you how I used red slime remover to get rid of cyanobacteria. If you're battling it, in your tank this is a simple way to get rid of it make sure you follow the instructions on exactly how to do it and you should come out just fine thank you again for watching i hope you learned something be sure to click that subscribe button check the bell icon and i'll see you next time on the coral reef talk <laughs>